Many mammals still depend on the vomeronasal organ to detect pheromones. Uh, mice, for example, have between two and three hundred genes for uh, the, their vomeronasal receptors. In some lineages, the vo uh, vomeronasal organ is less developed, and a change seems to have occurred in New World monkeys. While New World monkeys possess a small but functional VNO, uh, Old World monkeys and apes possess a mutation in the TRIP2 gene, a gene uh, which is required for vomeronasal uh, function. As a result, it appears that no Old World monkey or ape, including humans, possess a functioning vomeronasal organ. The organ is present in embryos and in many adults, and the genes are still, uh, for the receptors, are still present in uh, the genome. But now this entire olfactory uh, system seems to be turned off because of this one uh, mutation. Now, since higher primates rely so much on vision, apparently uh, this uh, uh, problem with the olfactory system has been tolerated, and that although pheromones uh, do play roles in humans, they play apparently less of a role than they do in other animals, uh, particularly those mammals which come out at night. Whatever pheromones are detected by uh, the human olfactory system, it seems to be the main olfactory system rather than the vomeronasal system which uh, functions. Mammals can use pheromones for a variety of uh, signaling events, not only the state of a reproductive cycle of a female. Uh, pheromones can also signal the status of a male, especially in social groups. Males who win contests, you know, and this could be uh, fights for dominance in non-humans uh, or even something like wrestling matches or even being the fans of a soccer game in humans. Uh, this can change the amount of testosterone made and thus the amount of pheromones made and thus affect odor. So uh, there are these effects of pheromones, but it is also coming to light that the cell fingerprint composed of MHC proteins uh, affects uh, pheromones and thus can affect um, the perception of how closely related an individual is to you, which influences inbreeding and other aspects of mammalian reproduction. So for example, MHC molecules are expressed in vomeronasal neurons, and there is interest in determining whether this allows the VNO to measure degrees of relatedness among potential mates and a potential mechanism to suppress inbreeding. Male mice preferentially mate with females with different MHC proteins, and females preferentially nest with uh, females which, with similar MHC proteins. In mice, fetal MHC proteins produce odors that can be detected in maternal urine. Male mice can distinguish between and react to the odor in maternal urine, showing a preference for females whose fetuses carried MHC proteins differing from those of the male. Females prefer the urine of uninfected males to that of infected males. Untrained mice can distinguish between individuals which differ in some but not all of the MHC genes, and humans can also distinguish between the odors of mouse strains which differ only in their MHC genes. In rodents, females spontaneously abort same MHC embryos more frequently, and in humans, the in vitro fertilization of same MHC embryos are more likely to fail.